the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 11th June, being Saturday and within the ordinary time of the church calendar year too. Today the mother church celebrates St. Barnabas, the apostle. And this will be coming from the Acts of the Apostles chapter 11. Verse 21 to 26, chapter 13, verse 1 to 3. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 98, verse 2 B. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel, chapter 5, verse 33 to 37. The theme of our message today is conversion and swearing. Conversion and swearing. The two things that faces us today. First of all, today we are told that the disciples who dispersed to the Gentile world, to the pagan world, was able to preach about the Lord Jesus Christ to them. And there was a great conversion. Many people, a great number turned back to the Lord, living their old way of life. And when the news about this came to the church in Jerusalem, they sent Barnabas, a very good man. And he went. And when he went there and saw the grace of God that is at work, he encouraged the people to remain faithful to their faith, strengthened them in faith. You see, when you are converted, you bring joy to every person. When you are converted, you live your old way of life to embrace the gospel message. That's the mission. That's what Christ started with all of us. Repent, believe the good news. The kingdom of God is close at hand. And when he was saying this, that what these people have done, they had the word of God, they repented about their old way of living and embraced the gospel message. They called gospel because they are culture. Formerly served because they are culture, but now the heavenly will of desire of God because they are culture, their way of life. The good news because they are way of life. When Barnabas saw the great marvels of God, he went to look for Paul. In Tarsus. And when he saw him, he brought him, both of them came back to Antioch and stayed there for more than a year, instructing the people on the way of God. It was there that the church, the Christians were first called Christ, Christians. And when they were praying in that place, you have many people who are gifted in this church of Antioch. We're told some are teachers, some are evangelists, some are apostles. We're told they have all these people gifted, the full option. They have everything that is required of the children of God. And when they were fasting and praying, it was there that their voice came to them, set Paul and Barnabas apart for the mission I want to send them. So one good work deserves another. I have worked so hard in Antioch. Now the Holy Spirit came in the time of prayer and said, set them apart for the work I'm signing them. And the people after prayed and fasting laid hand upon them and set them off. Conversion was the mission of Christ. And that mission he has entrusted into our hands. If we go there and we say we are mission and we are not converted any person really to the Christ, we have not converted them, they have not learned unity, they have not learned love among them, you have not converted them. And when somebody is converted to God, his old way of life disappears. His thought is God, his word is God, his action is initiated by God. And that's why Jesus was telling his disciples that how it was said of old, you shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But Jesus said to them, 
that was what was done in the Ugo. You are not converted to God yet. That's the way pagans do things. They swear. You swear by one juju or swear by one other thing you know. And they swear who will ever kill us, who will think evil about us, who have plotted evil against us, who have done this and that, announcing their fear that they are living in fear. A person who will poison us, anyone who will set trap for us, anyone who will do this, let's swear, let's tell us swear and take an oath that we shall not harm each other, we shall not do, and after that your fear multiplies to show you have done something foolish and shallow and empty. That's why Jesus said to them today, do not swear at all by heaven, it's the throne of God. Do not swear with it, it's the full soul of the mighty God, most high God. Do not swear with Jerusalem, it's the city of the great king. Do not swear with your head, because you have no capacity to turn either one hair black or white. Yes, that is when the, war, the children of Adam have not discovered how to turn their hair black and white and green and yellow. Jesus was talking about natural way of doing it, not artificial way of doing it. And he said, whatever you say, let your yes be your yes and your no be no. Anything short of that, you are called me for me for one. You see it. You don't swear at all. Say you are truth, and the truth are nothing but the truth. Don't invoke anything to come and be a witness for you that you are speaking the truth. Say you are yes, to be your yes, you are no, you are no. Little time, every person will know that is your standard. And that's why the psalmist today who understood this so we say the Lord has shown his deliverance to the nations. He has made us to see the need to come into light instead of darkness. To come into life instead of death. To come into blessings instead of causes. And that's why he had brought deliverance there by bringing deliverance to the nations. And made us to know how to do what is proper to God, not what we are doing out of self-desire. So, don't continue to live the life you were living where you were not converted. When you are converted to God, God becomes everything in you. So that you say your yes is yes, your no is your no. And now while we are celebrating St. Barnabas to the apostle, you can see the, the exploit of St. Barnabas he was so trusted, he was such a good man, was sent by the church to go and see the new church in Antioch. And he went. And you can see the combination of him and uh, uh, Paul. And you know he was the one who introduced Paul to the apostles when they were running away from him. They all testified that he has com is converted. That's why today you can see his exploit in the ministry. He did everything and achieved great. And that's why today the church is celebrating him. He was not only converted, he lived for God and God alone. May God help us to understand through the intention of St. Barnabas, that conversion is what God has called us to do and that we should not swear at all, let our yes be our yes and our no be no. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the ability of being converted to God and being a yes, being a yes, no more swearing an oath. No more the Father, no more the Son, no more the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.